What is going on everybody and welcome back to All The Mods 9, to the sky. We're currently on episode 11, smashing through this episode, smashing through this pack. We're getting lots and lots done. But today, we're going to focus on, once again, ore processing. So we're going to upgrade our level from tier 2 to tier 3. Possibly even go all the way to tier 4. We'll see how time flies. If not, that'll probably be the episode after. But anyway guys, let's get straight into this episode. Alrighty, so of course, wouldn't be a video if it wasn't night time. <laughs> so in today's episode, we're actually, yeah, like I said, we're going to upgrade our system. What do you got? Nothing important. Oh, I've got another one here. They're everywhere. These villagers, wandering traders. Uh, don't need anything from you. And I don't think anything from you was good either, was it? Let's have a quick double check. Mm, nah. We already bought the ice from him, just to be, just in case. Um, right, so, before I forget, because I keep forgetting to do it, and I don't want it to break, because we have all those enchantments on it now, I don't want it to break. We got all these nice enchantments on it. Anyway, so, on the last episode, we upgraded everything to the Flux network. Um, that is working really well still. Um, we are importing in heaps. We've got heaps of backup in here. Um, I did drop this down. I played around with this reactor and I dropped it down to the rods of 95% inserted. So we're only actually making 60,000 RF per tick, which is perfect. We're only at average using 12 to 13,000 when all the machines are running. So it just, it's going to save us a bit of um, uranium because we are getting a little bit low on uranium. Um, we have heaps in here. We do have some blocks there as well that I converted to blocks because I was trying to see how many I converted, but I was trying to see if that would work better in there, but it didn't. But we're reducing the use of them because we don't need to use that much. So right now we're using 0.554 millibuckets a ton, a ton. So it's it's working pretty good. Um, yeah, um, yeah, we're using way less, which is what we want. So today's episode, we are working on times in this setup by two. Crazy, I know, but we need to do it. So, uh, not times, but times three, sorry, because right now this is duplicating. So it goes through all this and duplicates. So the way that we have to do that is if we actually follow the quest line, it tells us. So we need, we also need this too. I forgot to add that one to the collection. Um, this machine is the next step to your ore processing factory. Add this to the left of your purification chamber to build onto your current ore machine, um, ore factory. This machine requires hydrogen chloride to operate. To find out how to blah 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 blah. So to make hydrogen chloride, to get hydrogen chloride for our machines, we'll need to first create brine. To do this, we'll need a thermal evaporation plant. This is a multi-block structure. To start, create a 4x3x4 structure that is hollow in the middle. Except for the base, you can replace any of the sides with a control or a valve. So like this, easy. You'll need at least one controller, two valves, pump in water, and you'll start collecting brine, which can be pumped out into an ele electrolytic separator to extract chlorine from the gas. So then heating up. The thermal evaporator plant multi-block produces brine based on internal temperature. There are several methods to increase the temperature of the plant, including building them in a desert. Bring the sky, we don't have a desert. So we're going to use the resistive heater, uses RF to produce heat and can be set to use whatever RF you want it to use. That is why we're using that. Uh, this machine combines two gases to create a new gas. You'll need a combination chlor. You'll need to combine chlorine with hydrogen to create hydrogen chloride, uh, which is then used in our chemical injection chamber. So now you should have five machines ready to go to process your ores. Are you ready to make it even more complicated? Your factory should currently be chemical injector chamber, purification chamber, crusher, which we well. Right. So this bad boy here is what we're making today, but we're actually going to make it a little bit bigger than this because I believe the bigger it is, the more brine you can get, the quicker the system runs, blah, 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 blah. You know how it all works. So let's just get straight into making things, shall we? So we need to start with an evaporative controller. Nope, we need to start with evaporative blocks, which is steel and copper. I don't know how much steel I have. Not much. All right, how do we make steel again? That is steel dust. Um, yeah, that one's a bit annoying. Crusher. Yeah, okay, so it's just this. Okay, so we're gonna have to make some hammers. That's okay, we can make some hammers. Uh, dun, 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 dun. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could probably actually make platinum ones now if we've got platinum made up yet, which I don't think we do. So that is perfectly fine. Uh, right, so steel dust, 64. Let's get that cooking just here. We'll turn that off. Right, so while we continue making that, we need some of these. So we need some advanced one, two of those bad boys. Bang. We have the thermal evaporative controller. We need a thermal evaporative valve. How many of them do we need? We needed two of those. I thought it was two. So we need two valves. So we need two more of these. One, two. Bang. One. And all right. So resistive heater. We have everything except this. That's our resistive heater. Bang. Um, chemical infuser, we have everything except a basic chemical tank, which I'm actually going to make a couple of them because we're probably going to need a couple of them. A mm -hmm. couple of them. Um, cool. And then don't need that and we need one of these. A chemical infusion injection, which is a purification. Right. Let's go down the line. Still. Thank you. Turn that back on before I forget because I always forget that. All right, so we made an enrichment chamber, need two of these, again, purification chamber, and then we need these, which we actually haven't made these yet. So these are diamonds with the infused alloy. I don't know how many I have left, 16. Um, let's go eight of them, and we should be able to put them in here. And they should go pretty quick because these are all fully upgraded. Beautifully, nice and quick. Three, two, one, bloop. Now I haven't set this up to actually go into the system yet, it only goes into the drawers. I need to change that, but we will change that in a second. Um, all right, we're gonna need a couple more of them because we don't have enough. So I didn't realize we need to do this too. Well, we might have enough actually. Yes, we do. Chemical infusion, nice. All right, let's grab some of these quest marks that we've got given. Cool. Nice. And then up here, because we made this. Nice. We're getting there. We are getting there, guys. And we got some more of them, some more of them. And then, sweet. Now, uh, where are we going to build this? I reckon right here. So we're going to go one, two, two, I want three on the inside. Told you it's going to be a little bit bigger than what they wanted. But the cool thing about this, right, this is what's cool is we're gonna go like this and this isn't the bottom this is the top so we're actually gonna come down here and go down here but oh, we have to make some more thought we would let's do 40 sorry I always go quiet <laughs> oh, I need more okay we need more guys I have to know more than 20 I can say it but I think we need more than 20 all right beautiful two left right so well, we actually do want more than 20 because I wanted to go one more row up here. So that needs more steel. Yes, I forgot how to make steel again. Oh, we need iron. That's all right. So then we'll go and... Oh, wrong button. Fat fingered it. And while that's cooking, we'll go to sleep again. It's always takes so quick. I can't even speak. It's always so quick, the daytime for some reason, but nighttime takes forever. Right, so they are not ready yet. Cool, now we're ready. Yep, you've probably just seen something that's me getting ready for another project. 12 should be enough. Guess 12 was not enough. <laughs> I actually only needed one more because the way we're gonna do this is this here will be our controller and then we have our taps. So we're gonna do one here and one here. Did we make three taps? Valve, valve, valve. Interesting. Okay, what do we do wrong? That's everything, isn't it? Do I really have to not have them like that? Do they have to be one more up, maybe? I hope not. Hmm. What is going on here? So for some reason you can't do bigger ones like you used to be able to. Um, I don't know, it might be just this mod pack, but we just had to shrink it down to the exact one that they wanted. So here we go, thermal evaporation plant. Beautiful. All right, sorry about that. Um, all right, so our next step would be to put down a resistive heater. 
on this side. We're going to go like this, and we're going to put him bloop, right there. We can see that he's making pet. Well, he's not making anything at the moment because he's got no power. So that means we need to put down and uh, receives energy from receives energy from. We want receives energy too. Put you onto there, and add you to the power. Boom. Now he's only using 40 RF per tick, so we could probably up that to let's say let's say 5,000 for the now, and that is going to boost how hot it is in here. But it won't at the moment because we have no connector. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make a connector. We're going to make all the way to the ultimate, but we need to go and make our way through them. So this one here, we're going to make eight of them, um, and then next, I believe it's the advanced, and then it's the elite and then we're going to make this one which is atomic which is that into the enriched and we'll be able to put that into there and make that atomic universal cables cool let's um take off a couple of these things while we're here because we haven't actually made any of them before so now we have more Pressurized tubes, mechanic for transferring fluids, transferring gases, items, and heat. What I'd like to see if these little bad boys have changed. Nope, they haven't. Okay. Idiot. We made the wrong ones, boys. We made the wrong ones. We made... Well, they're the wrong ones, anyway. We wanted these ones. Con uh, thermodynamic. Yeah, we want the thermodynamic ones. We made the wrong ones. That's alright. We can just go again. Um, oh well, that's alright, you guys will see us make all these now as well, so that's pretty cool. Plump. And then we need to make one more of them. Thank you. Plump. Hey, now we've got the right ones, so this should now just go nice. Now we do probably, I don't know if our crescent wrench, or hammer is what it's called these days, will work on this. We don't have to, oh no, we don't have to worry about that. Cool. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, so now we've got the heat sorted, our next item and product will be water. So we're going to try the ultimate kitchen sink. Now, if that doesn't work, then we're going to have to do the um, the water pump with the infinite source and then do a universal pipe to run it through. But we're going to try and do it with the kitchen sink to see if we can hack it, I guess. Nope, we don't have one. That's okay. Actually, I didn't see our oh, kitchen. I thought we had one. Boom. Now we're going to go, and once again, we're going to put this one in here. We're going to go down. Now I'm not sure. We did make these, the end of fluid conduits. So we could see how these go now because um, we haven't used these yet. We're going to extract always and insert, not extract. So let's see how that goes. We're getting water, but not too fast. Not fast enough. So let's try a fluid pipe with, we'll go one of them because we don't have a advanced one on us. And we'll chuck one of them in there. Search for every tick. Cool, that's faster. No room for output. Yep, because we've got no room for output, but we've got brine. That is the system so far. So we've got brine. Now brine is obviously a liquid. So we're also going to make a tank uh, what our beautiful favorite the jumbo tank just because this thing holds a lot and it, it's nice it's it's a nice tank it holds a lot one two three four and it's good for like a little byproduct uh, not by uh, by pro uh, yeah byproduct we'll go with a byproduct uh, what we could do actually let's because we're doing mechanism let's let's stick with mechanism they're, they're not expensive so let's actually make uh, logistics are they items and blocks we need fluid mechanical fluid pipes yeah let's um let's make a set of these we really should actually um just go with these all the time now we do need to go back to alloy we'll take three of them and we're gonna have to cook them up quickly um, i think it is in this yep that makes them infused and then we'll put two into here and we'll get two of them right and then let's go you guys bang bang We'll put all of them away, put them away. We don't need them anymore, don't need them. Um, yeah, so I wanna just, I figured we might try and stack it because uh, keep the same mod. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. So we might need the configurator. 
So we'll try the configurator. Now, as you guys can see, watch this, it's charging up. Because with off camera, I built the wireless, the flux controller wireless. So actually everything that's in my hotbar, hmm, is that not the right thing? I'm pretty sure it's the right thing. I just haven't used it in a long time. I had it right guys, I just didn't do it all the way. So we wanted to go shift right until it said none. <laughs> and from here we're gonna go pull. And here we're gonna go push, which isn't working. Well, that's keeping up, it's just not pulling. Ah, that's the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> right, so now that's pulling all that brine out of there really quickly, nice, into here and constantly filling this up with as much brine as we need. So next, we're gonna need our chemical injector chamber and our chemical infuser. But the way we're gonna do this is a little bit different. I'm gonna actually go down. Ooh, I thought that was, <laughs> I thought we were goners then, boys. I thought we were goners. Um, we actually wanna create another one of these. Is it the chemical infuser? No, not the chemical infuser. We need the um, electrolytic separator. The one I can never pronounce. Um, it looks like that, but it's not that. There we go. Uh, electrolytic separator. So we need two of these, uh, which means we need some more iron upstairs in the fusion machine in this one. Boop. And that will get us a bunch of them, which we'll take. Why are you not outputting on the bottom anyway? Well, that's interesting. Extract. Interesting that that one's not extracting, but the others will. Ah, oh, it's extracted on the wrong channel. That's why. Yep, now it's extracting. <laughs> Extracted on the wrong channel, that's fine. Cool, so we need a bunch of them anyway, so we continue doing what we were doing. We were making, where'd she go? Oh, I lost her, there she is. We're making this, so we need, we need two of these. Uh, what's it missing? Iron, iron dust. I think we can just do iron dust like that. Oh, nope, that's an iron, that's iron plates. That's iron dust. Oh, I got some of this stuff on me. Right, let's go again. Two cores, please. And then we need two of these, one and two. Right, let's jump back down here where we were. So this is our sink. And what we're gonna do is we're going to pump, uh, because we're not doing that, we're doing mechanism, fluid pipes. We're gonna bring this down, right? And what we wanna do is, sorry, I just had to make sure I got used the right ones. So the chemical infuser, we want to be under this one. So it's going to be right there. All right, sorry guys. I'm sort of going off an old tutorial as well. Um, just so we can make sure I do this right. All right, so we need this one there. Then this one there. Cool. And then we want to bring this one there, I think. That doesn't look right. Letter, electrolytic separator, and then we have our C confuser. So this one here is not getting any water. So we want to configure the sides and we want to clear all the sides on all of them for now, all right? That's it. Just want to clear everything off of it. So we get nothing else except that. Then we're going to want to bring this bad boy down for water. Cause this here is water, remember? And then we're going to go, we're going to want to pull out of that one and that one actually goes into here. This one is going to get put water and going to turn oxygen and hydrogen because we want the hydrogen. We don't want the oxygen. We want the hydrogen. Don't forget that. So for now, we're actually going to be getting rid of the hydrogen, but till we're ready, we're not because we're actually going to come with this. None, none, because that shouldn't be water, but that's okay. Um, looks like we are out of those cables already. That went really quick. Can't believe we used them already. Um, they're a little expensive, I'm not gonna lie. But that's okay. I wanted to do this with the best system I can get done. Pull. Right, so this one here, we're gonna go on and go here and we're gonna go fluids, input from the top. All right, and then we are going to dump, dumping all, dumping. Because we don't want water or anything in there. Because this isn't water, this is brine. So we actually want to go blump and pull until all of this water is gone, which is not going to go. I wonder if it will go if we do this. 
It's still got water in it. Oh, I love it when things don't work out the way you want them to. <sighs> right, so all three of these need um, power anyway, so we're going to go one, two, and three. Open up our bag, get three ports. One, two, three. This is main input. This is main input. And this will be main input. Right, and if we go like this, we're going to go energy input. Cool, so that's now got power. I'm going to dump it all. And we're going to dump all of that, and hopefully, all this water will disappear soon. Crap. <laughs> uh oh. Ugh! <laughs> oh, I've still got that on from before, too. I always forget to turn that off when I'm helping people, but that's okay. Where did that hole come from? Or did I just fall off the back there? Must have just fallen off the back there, or that one. Right, so, this is obviously not going to work because we've got. It's full of water. Unless we can do this, right? If we have this already, there we go. And now it's two different ones. Nice. So now once that drains out, we will start seeing water in that. In that. Uh, we could probably actually drain that ourselves with a tank of some sort. Um, sorry for the noise in the background. Probably make one of these again, quickly. One, two, three, four. And bang. And then put this into here. That ain't gonna work in there. Nice, that's a waste. We just gotta wait. We just have to wait. So this is exactly what we want, right? Except this is not what we want because we want the hydro. Well, the hydrogen's already going in there. So with this, we're actually going to dump our access for now. Eventually, I'm gonna take this oxygen and utilize it into a like a storage compartment, so we can use that for our system up there because it's getting used so why not why not use it so once this is done we should be able to get our product in here and then both of them uh we're not we're we'll get two different products from this other one it's sulfur and chloride or chloride chlorine chlorine i think and then we're making hydrogen chloride so we want the hydrogen and the chloride mix them together to make hydrogen chloride but um we're not at the moment because we're full of water hmm. Fancy that, shall we? There's got to be a way to clear it. Has to be a way to empty it out. It is really annoying. All right, I'll bring you guys back when we're here so you're not sitting there wasting time. Welcome back. So it's been actually a little bit. I actually did some stuff upstairs and made some more of like these and these and some more of these. Um, just to make it a little bit quicker to get some more things done so you guys don't have to wait around. So this should be all cleared now. So we've got brine that's coming in and that's making sodium and chlorine. Now the thing that we need is chlorine and we need the oxygen or the hydrogen hydrogen out of here so no we need the oxygen out of here we need the oxygen out of here so we don't actually want to dump access there's a reason behind that it's crazy but there's a reason so this here we're actually going to insert in here um this is a gas isn't it so we need a gas pipe now so at mechanism we need logistic pipes fluids uh, basic pressurized pipes gases yep so we need a just a couple of these so nothing to we, we will do the or go all the way up because we need the best of the best because we have the material but we want to go from here to here and that's actually going to mix the chlorine in with the hydrogen there now we want to double check to make sure that this here is outputting number two so that this one which is now empty so the sodium we are just going to dump the access or can we put no because it's not a gas for now we're just going to dump the access because we don't need the sodium yet i don't think we need sodium for anything um sodium we can make nuclear waste with yeah um uses liquid uses no so we don't really need sodium at all we don't need sodium whatsoever so we're just going to dump the access of that because we don't need it now if we look at our power statics we're, we're now using 22,000, which is still fine because like i said we've dropped our nuclear reactor nuclear reactor our big reactor it's not nuclear it's, well technically it is because it's uranium so we've dropped our reactor all the way down to 95 percent so it's technically only using 
of its capacity so we have plenty of room to move if we need we just got to keep an eye on it so now this is making hydrogen chloride so the hydrogen chloride we are now actually going to make a couple of gas storage containers these bad boys are right here um, except we want not a creative one how do we get the actual recipe for them mm, they're all creative tanks where's the actual tank first page did I miss it on the first page I didn't miss it on the first page third page I didn't miss it on the third page we just want the tank we don't want the creative one well we can't but I don't see it do you guys see it because I most certainly do not yeah, Adam, stop looking guys all right so we're gonna go up with these actually we're gonna make two of them and we'll go to the advanced ones apparently we already had one in there okay we must have got that as a reward somewhere oh we might as well go to three then and um, we're gonna go to the elites um, just because I like to have a backup of everything and then we'll go to the ultimates so one two and three cool so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place one of these bad boys right here not right there right here and then we're gonna grab our pressurized tube blip, and our configurator oh it's already working hydrogen chloride nice um, we also need a few more of these out here to make this system work because we need one more tank one more ultimate tank to go thank you whoever just slept to go there now from here because we've been oh why is that doing that why is that making brian oh i clicked the wrong one this is empty oxygen because that is not enough room in output yeah so this should still be making hydrogen and it's making it pretty good just like it's making that pretty good but we want to go not dump in excess because we don't want to dump the excess we want to go and take the oxygen and put it into here oxygen cool so that's just going to constantly go now obviously we can split all of our speed upgrades to make this go a lot quicker which we will actually i think i actually have some on me um nope i must have used them all upstairs that's all right we'll make some more that's fine i'll just make them off camera they're pretty easy to make anyway so cool so now we've got a ultimate chemical tank with oxygen and ultimate ultimate chemical station with hydrogen chloride now all right so then from these we need to get these over to there <laughs> we really should have done this the other way around so then ah oh, god damn it <laughs> i've really got to fill that hole up really do let's see if we can land in it this time oh and yeah, that probably wasn't the smartest thing but that's okay so yeah we need to get them to go all the way to our five times ore processing system here which is actually going to pause now so we need to turn you off and then all that will turn off you're stopping because we don't need you over here anymore so let's get rid of this let's get rid of this um i don't know if that spews nope yes it does okay we don't want to do that then um we'll leave that for now <laughs> so because this here is also going this is going and what have we got here so let's what's that doing that's extracting the diamond so we'll take that and then let's put that here and we'll turn that back on to extracting with a diamond so it only extracts what it needs to extract from there and then right so that is that part sorted so that clears that out that should be all right now because our new machine our chemical infusion chamber is going here it's going to go right here so that's why we needed to change this up now that's fine how it is i'm fine with how that's running that's perfectly fine we don't need to worry about that what we need to worry about is getting our gases now down here right because we need in here yeah we need our so hydrogen still needs to go to that. The hydrogen goes to that one. All right, I was confused for a sec where the hydrogen went. I was extremely confuzzled, but the hydrogen goes to that one. So we need the ultimate pressure pipes, more of them, which is fine. We can do that. Um, heat mechanism. No, that's the thermodynamic one. So we needed these ones, pressurized pipes. 
Um, we're gonna have to make a couple of them because we've actually got a bit of a track to go both ways. So we've basically got to go there and back. Um, so let's make as many of them as we can. If we need to make more, we will make more. That's fine. All right, so because I like to keep things up in the sky, what we want to do is we want to come across with this and then go up and then let's get some blocks there so we don't fall down because knowing me, where's that hole? <laughs> let's find that hole so we don't fall down on it. Right, so we want to find the best way to come over here would be like this and then down this way and then across to there. Let's get rid of this one. Let's go over here and let's pull out of that one. So that means our all of our hydrogen chloride should be up here. Hydrogen chloride and also, I hate these tubes. I've always hated mechanism tubes because they fill the pipe up. So it might not look like we have any, but this, this pipe is getting filled capacity with a million buckets. So it might not look like we have any and we don't have a lot backed up, but that's why. And it's a stupid system. I really don't like how they do that. And they really need to, well, because you can see it in this one. So that means there's a million buck buckets in this. And even though we're making all this and we've got a fair bit in here, it doesn't seem like it's making any more. Did I pause it or that? No, it is making it. It's just filling up these pipe works, which is stupid. It is ridiculously stupid. So this one here, see how this is filling up? Hydrogen hydrogen so what we could do here is we could dump this excess and it's only going to make what it needs to make which is exactly what we want it to do and then so now we want to come over with this one same thing over and then we're going to come over to here let's go up and then we're coming across oh I did not want to do that I hate how it does that <laughs> mm. hmm let me play around with these these pipes and see how where I want them to run and then I'll bring you guys back. An insane pain in the ass, but let's show you what I've got going on here. Where are we? Oh, here. So we're coming out of the, actually we're coming out of the, um, the ultimate chemical tank here with hydrogen chloride coming out of here, going around, going up, going around, pain in the ass, going up, going around, and then going into the back here. So we've got hydrogen chloride in our chemical injection chamber. Then, we needed for our purification factory, we need the oxygen. So our oxygen, instead of wasting it, we're bringing it from here, instead of burning it and wasting it like we were going to, which I should have just kept the other system that we had, but anyway, it's coming from there to here, coming out of there, through to here, through, 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 through here. Crazy, but it's working. So that's it. That is our system up and running and working exactly how it's meant to be. It's currently not held up yet, obviously, because of these. There is so much gas in these pipes, but that's perfectly fine. Um, I actually had to turn the reactor up, so this is no longer this. It is actually 85% uh, because we're using more power. So I had to bring it up to 90,000 RF per tick, which because we are currently pulling out around about 50 to 60,000 max now crazy cool so this is it here chemical infusion chamber now we want to actually straight away let's go at mechanism upgrade it because we've upgraded the rest and we want to go to you upgrade i didn't realize i didn't need the basic one to do that i don't need any of them to do that oh so i've just been making the basic ones for no reason when we could just go i oh, know because we need to do yeah yeah that's right um i've been doing it in the, I've been taking the machine out and doing it that way, but I found these before. Okay, so you just right click on it and it brings it up. Cool, and that's full. And advanced injecting factory, and that has our hydrogen chloride in it. So now what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that it works. Let's just grab a stack of hydrogen chloride. We're gonna output, chuck them in there. That's gonna work. Um, let's stick in all the energy upgrades that we can. Not sure about all the speed upgrades yet. We will see if things keep up. Looks like it is. That's really loud and annoying, so I will turn that off in a second. But cool, so that's importing, exporting, sorry. Side config. We want to 
energy output to that one and top we want to input auto eject that should automatically go straight into here and now that will turn into our gold clumps our gold clumps and then going into there crushing bang enriching bang 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 so this should be triple three time off or oh, thingamajiggy beautiful um, but first we need to go like this extract all of that into there and we can chuck that bad boy on it so it's full nice now before i forget let's go to this what's it called it's an injecting factory so let's go uh, injection chamber that would do cool so now we can't hear it so it's not keeping up with the hydrogen chloride at that speed so let's uninstall three of them or our hydrogen chloride factory down here isn't keeping up hmm our brine our brine what is going on with the brine that is our issue is the brine so the brine is working it's just empty can we turn the heat up maybe to 20,000 RF per tick and see if that makes that a little bit quicker so we are backed up because of this and that's not keeping up but it's keeping up enough for now because obviously this is now backed up because of these and then we're actually probably using a lot of our power now so let's have a look here we're at 60,000 we're pulling 60,000 out so that's okay because when we've got 90,000 spare at the moment obviously we can just bring back more I believe we got like I think it was like 190,000 RF per tick in this bad boy so our issue is the brine we're not making enough okay I wonder if we can make it any taller let's see if we can what are they called thermal because we have all these extras we can all right well this will help us make more so let's just go maybe one more then we have enough for one more cool cool right so that's full it's, it's it's oh we've got a bit of chlorine in there now all right how are we doing over here and now we're full nice so that actually helped a lot there okay so we still don't have any backups but i think over time that might help us oh actually i think it's because hang on i think i know why we've, that's full because it's not actually running no it's not running i mean it is but it's because these ones aren't because this bad boy's slow why are you so slow let's put some more speed upgrades in you there we go and now that will probably die too all right, so I'm going to just watch this for a bit and just see if I have to make any add-ups. But yeah, we're going to leave this episode here because we're done. We've created the three times oil processing system like we wanted to. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you are, click that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that little notification bell. Yeah, I should really do like a little ding right there. I don't know. Um, and yeah, videos will be uploaded every two days. Episode two comes out tomorrow i believe i got it set to but yeah thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next chapter sadios